Hi, I'm Rob with Fastway Trailer, and this is Two Minute Tech. In this edition, I want to talk really quickly about proper tensioning of our brackets with the E2 system. Um, in previous segments, we've talked about proper placement of the brackets uh, from the center coupler. Once we have that established, depending on whether it's the E2 round bar or the E2 trunnion system and we know where our brackets need to be, the next step is to take our plates, the inside and outside link plate, and make sure we get them properly tensioned down to the trailer frame. Uh, the best way to achieve this is first is to hold the, both the inside and outside plates so they're flush against the trailer frame. And then I like to take and just finger tighten both bolts until they come down and they're good and flush against that frame right there so you have full contact surface on the frame. From there, uh, what I like to do is take the, your two three quarter inch wrenches and the key is to, um, to properly tension them and have equal tension top and bottom bolts is to rotate. Uh, do one half turn top, bottom, then do one half turn top, half turn bottom, and half turn top. And repeat this process until you get your split lock washers all the way flattened on there and you get them to a good arm strength tightened. That will get you right to about 65 pounds of torque and that's what you want. And You can always double check this with a torque wrench in the shop. And you know the nice thing about getting them properly tensioned down like this is that you're going to have the best performance with the brackets on there. And uh, that's it for today's uh, edition of Two Minute Tech. Uh, for further details on this you can always refer to your E2 owner's manual. I'm Rob. Thanks for your time.